Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and welcome to Planet 9 that we still haven't really discovered. But guess what? People are already convinced that there might be actually even something called Planet 10. In other words, there might be even a 10th planet that is somewhere out there in Kuiper's Belt, and today we're going to talk about the evidence and also briefly about the size of that planet using the Universe Sandbox. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So yeah, that's right. Some scientists are now convinced that not only is there a Planet 9, which might be orbiting somewhere far, far away from Earth um, at the far outskirts of Kuiper's Belt, distances here that we're talking about are basically like 700 times the distance of Earth from the Sun. Way, way, way past Pluto, about 20 times as far away as Pluto. Um, and that's Planet Nine. So we think it's a it's a massive object about ten times mass of Earth, and we think it's causing all of these perturbations with different other objects in our solar system. But closer to home, uh, a new team of scientists, specifically here, we're talking about Catherine Volk and Renu Mal Malhotra, and I hope I pronounced these names correctly. Um, they've basically recently published a paper, this is uh, as of June of 2017, stating that they actually found evidence for something even closer to home, uh, just past Pluto. So we're going to go to the solar system and I'll show you how close we're talking about here. So here's our solar system, here's Earth, there is Saturn, there is Uranus and Neptune, and right there is Pluto. This is a distance um, of just over... 39.6 astronomical units, so just about like 40 astronomical units, 40 times the distance of Earth from the Sun. Now, they have been looking at these various objects here and discovered something very unusual about quite a lot of them. Quite a lot of these rocks at a distance of about 42 to 48 astronomical units, so basically right here, seem to be kind of misaligned to the plane. You can even see this here. They are a little bit misaligned. They're, the inclination of these objects is about 13%, sorry, not 13%, 13 degrees higher than it should be. Everything past that, everything after 50 astronomical units is not in that inclination. But a lot of these rocks seem to be statistically misaligned. And they are about 97% confident that this misalignment can only mean one thing. This misalignment can only suggest that there's got to be another object just after Pluto, maybe somewhere at a distance of about 50 to 80 astronomical units. We're going to add it right now. And this object is maybe about Mars-sized, about 10% uh, mass of our planet Earth, so 10 times less massive than Earth. So we're going to place it at a distance of about 50 to 80, so maybe somewhere right here in a slightly higher plane, so somewhere here, there is got to be this other planet, this is according to them, and they just call it planet 10. They're, they simply call it planet 10, um, or 10th planet. Although technically, because it's closer to, to Sun, this should be called Planet 9, and the other one should be called Planet 10, right? That's kind of logic. But anyway, uh, so Planet 10 is somewhere out there, 50 to 80 astronomical units, and it's about Mars-sized in terms of mass, but its composition will be very different, and its albedo will be very different. Albedo is the reflectivity of the object. So here, this would probably be something similar to... Let's change it a little bit. Similar to... A large comet, a large asteroid, probably something that looks more like Pluto, with reflectivity of about 50%, so it would be relatively bright, and it would mostly contain ices and rock. Its density would be anywhere between um, maybe 1 to about 4 um, grams per centimeter cube, and this is very similar to basically either a very large uh, dwarf planet, or, specifically, basically an asteroid in this uh, location of space. So, 
we don't really know if it actually exists yet. Don't get me wrong, this is still a very, very big speculation and still just one paper. But because we're so confident that Planet Night must be, must be somewhere out there, even though we haven't found it, people started looking for more of these unusual inclination or deviations of orbits and use this as a kind of a potential evidence for an object that might be a planet. Now, this might not be a true planet by its definition because this object would not have cleared um, its orbital region from other objects. And this is a current, as of 2017, definition for a planet. But it's a kind of a bad definition, really. Orbits should not be a part of a definition for what it's like to be a planet. So for all intents and purposes, this is going to be known as Planet 10 and definitely a planet. Now, in comparison to other objects in this region, for example, like Sedna and um, Pluto, it's actually a lot more massive than them and a lot larger as well. And here I'll compare the Pluto to it. So there is Pluto and we're actually, we can even place it in orbit around this object. And there is Eris and Sedna. So it's significantly bigger than all three of these. So this would probably not really be a dwarf planet at all. This would probably be an actual planet. Um, now, there's a slight possibility that there might be some other interpretation to these in, um, inclination uh, inconsistencies. But as of now, nobody has really been able to propose any other reasons. And if you do think of some cool explanation for why a lot of these asteroids are misaligned instead of it being a planet, if you have a really cool explanation, please post it in the comments below. Because uh, uh, according to this paper, um, these inclinations cannot be explained by Planet 9, actual Planet 9. It's just too far to influence things. And look at that. There's actually a collision between two objects, Pluto and uh, Sedna, I believe. And even if, the, if, even if all of them combine together, they're not going to be as massive as Planet 10 that I've just created here. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, Planet 9 cannot explain those inclinations. And as of now, people have kind of been um, ignoring them, disregarding them as a statistical mistake. But if it is a mistake, it, there's only a 3% chance that, that it, it's a possibility of it being statistically probable rather than an actual object like Planet 10. So all we can do is just dream about this other planet somewhere out there that we haven't discovered yet. And a planet that maybe, just maybe, is going to be found one day and named something cool. So even though Pluto lost its planetary status, maybe there is a planet in this region that is going to get a status instead of Pluto and a pretty cool name. So that's the news of 2017, summer of 2017, and that's about Planet 10. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. We're going to finish this by exploding this beautiful planet 10 and destroying it completely. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out, and as always, bye-bye. And it destroyed my Pluto! Whoa, these explosions totally stripped my Pluto and Ares of their surfaces and turned them into these glowing balls. It's pretty impressive. <laughs>